couldn't sleep much last night, could you? Could you? Didn't sleep a wink. Explains the hilarity. Hmm. You're hopeless, Slepkachin. As long as you keep indulging me. That's my fault, huh? Here you go, before I forget. Aya brought me my favorite. Mr. Bernhardt said you were rather late getting home last night. Is that so? I did tell you it was almost time for supper when you stopped by. And I told you Miss Elmo worked me like a donkey right up till nightfall. Mr. Bernhardt was fretting over you is all. Mr. Bernhardt can find better things to do with his time, I'm certain. You really are so stubborn, Elise. Anyhow, it's about time I head out. Hey, I'll be up at the bell tower all afternoon if you'd like to keep me company. I'll be there, Leb. Keeping Lepkich in company, huh? Can't say I'm not looking forward to it. There she is. Spend some time. Rather cute, aren't you? My, there was no need to run, Elise. Who's running you? <laughs> you're always like this, Lepkachin. I can't help but you're so easy to tease, Elise. For goodness sake. For goodness sake. It's such a nice day today. I could stay here until nightfall. In the mood for another earful from Father Hands, are you? Remember when you would sneak up here at night time? Look at the stars and snack on leftover pretzels? As if I'd forget that. Or that night that old geezer caught us. <laughs> You'll never let that one go, will you, Elise? That wretch had me on my knees praying for hours on end. Yet all you got was an earful. I recall praying right alongside you that night, don't you? Because you felt sorry for me, not because he told you to. You two will never see eye to eye, will you? What's there to see? You're the one who's put up with him for too long, the way I see it. It's not as though we've never been at odds with each other. Oh, spare me, over what? You think I'm short of complaints? Indulge me, why don't you? All geezers like you belong in the pig pen, you oinker! Le Lebkuchen! You'll never hear us from up here, Elise. Alright, but you're the one getting the lecture if he catches us. At the top of your lungs now! You're so ugly, not even seeing Olapurga can save you, you ogre! You're telling me my hair is too long again, and I'll chop off whatever's left of yours, you old weasel! Did he really tell you that? For a clergywoman, that is. Who cares about some made-up rules, Leb? Aren't you feeling a lot lighter after all that, Elise? I can see you needed it, that's for sure. I'm no saint, after all, despite my veil. It's a shame you don't let your hair down more often, Leb. It suits you much better than that dust cloth on your head. My, you're such a charmer, Elise. All it does is weigh you down, and it makes you look gloomy, too. How do I look without it, then? It, you. You're such a killjoy, Lepkachin. Anyhow, Elise, it's best we move along, wouldn't you say? Those eggs won't collect themselves, I suppose. I'll be waiting for you by the bakery later, don't forget. Mm -hmm. Of course, Liv, I'll be there. And now that's a blue heart, instead of a green one or a purple one. There you are, Lepkuhen. You're a little too happy to see me, aren't you? Oh, I thought today would never end, that's all. You do look tired, Elise. These folks will be the death of me, that's what. Fretting over this witch nonsense day and night. You know they're rather superstitious, Elise. Well, you're buying into it now, too? What's next? We all sleep in the church together like chickens in a coop? Elise! It's all nonsense, Leb. Everyone's losing their wits. Here's your bread, Elise. Did you make too much 
today or something? I felt you could use a little more than usual tonight. Hmm. You need to look after yourself, Elise. Uncle Hen's always had the talent to figure things out, but... Is this her intuition again, or... Move along, Elise, before it gets late. I, I'll see you tomorrow, Leb. Look at Chin's second sight. It makes me wonder at times. I'm here for my earful, I suppose. You're no child, Elise. For goodness sake. I'll spare you, Elise. You're aware you've said too much. I couldn't have stayed silent, you know that. I agree it was their fault, Elise, but... You both know this will only get you the wrong kind of attention. Old Jockins, to be exact. I'm well aware, Lepkuhin. There's no real need for you to fret over this, you know. There is the utmost need for me to fret over it, Elise. I'll keep Father Hans from dwelling on it too much. Alright. Why don't you meet me here at dusk, Elise? We could both use a little downtime, wouldn't you say? I'll be here. There she is. I'll spend time with her. You'll start to grow roots standing there all day, Lipkachin. Well, I'd make for a rather pretty flower, don't you think? For goodness sake. A little too cheery for this time of day, don't you think? You're the one who's had an eventful day, Elise. Too eventful for my taste, even. Mm -hmm. There's plenty to tell me about then, isn't there? Why, I think not. I came here to spend time with you, Leb. Please. Please. Now sit. Sit. Right there, sit, sit. Now this is what I came here for. Eat standing, wouldn't you say? I spoil you a little too much, I say. Not like I'd have it any other way, anyhow. You're telling me all about it later, Elise. About those shoes and about that lass. Alright, alright. Now one more word about this nonsense now, you hear? Fine. So, Elise, I thought you knew. Knew what? About what happened earlier today. Oh, it's probably best to tell you about it later. Up, Kuhen. To think you're a proper nun, more like an imp. <laughs> you're truly so easy to tease, Elise. For goodness sake, don't tell me you don't want to, Leb. There's nothing to tell, Elise. I know you, Leb Kuhin, but I won't force you. Hmm. You can tell me when you're ready. Whenever that is. But I'll be waiting for you by the fountain tomorrow afternoon, so... Don't be late, Elise. Why can't she be honest with me? This is making me more frustrated than it should. You're truly so easy to tease, Elise. Easy or not, Leb. You'd better not be hiding anything from me. You get to keep secrets, yet I don't. Oh, there is something! I wouldn't say I'm keeping it from you, but... You'll think I'm untrusting, Elise. What? You see, I've been thinking about you. Oh, Kieferberg knows you won't stay here forever. Well, you? That's a different issue altogether, Elise. Seems to me they're quite the same, if I'm honest. Be that as it may, what am I to do when you're gone, Elise? You're, how to put it, your only comfort in this dull place? You're also very much irritating, like an imp, I'd say. Am I now? Terribly so. Didn't think I could read you this easily, did you? My, I might just throw you in the well at this rate. I might drown, Leb, then you'd really be left without me. Please. I'm well aware, Leb Kuhin. You're not the only one who thinks fondly of what we have, but... But... 
Doesn't mean we can't be together someplace else, does it? You hadn't thought of it like that, had you? Anyhow, I'll be waiting for you by the fountain tomorrow afternoon. Don't be late, Elise. For goodness sake. Don't you start, Lebkuhin. I am not explaining myself again. My lips are sealed. You can stand there looking at me all you want. She's a rather sweet lass, I must say. Lebkuhin. I know you, Elise. She's my cousin. There's nothing more to it. Oh, could you say that again? She's, um, you know... No, I don't know, Elise. That's why I'm asking. Now that we got that out of the way, won't you tell me who she is? She says she's a traveler. I found her hiding in my granary on Saturday. Traveler? I'm not convinced either, Lab, but I felt sorry for the poor lass. She says she'll be leaving right after the festival, so it's only temporary. What has she come here to do? She won't tell me much herself. I had no intention of bringing her to Kieferberg, but she... graced us with her presence, I suppose, so I had to think of something right there and then. Elise, I shouldn't be housing a stranger, let alone put myself in harm's way for her, but... I understand, Elise. Oh, Lab. I also understand what you're telling me is a half-truth at best. Here's your bread. You'll let me know if you need more, won't you? I trust you all the same, Elise. You don't have to help me, Lab. You know that. Yeah, here I am. Look at me, Elise. I do trust you. I need you to know that. Alright. They out of trouble now. I'll see you tomorrow. I hate lying to her like that. I should keep this under wraps for Lepkuhin's sake, too. There she is. Spend some time. Alright, out with it, Lepkuhin. Why aren't you, Keeny Lees? It's no use mocking me, Leb. What happened? The day has been rather punishing, that's all. It's no use giving me a half-hearted answer, either. promise you won't make too much of it, Elise. I promise I won't make too much of it, Lepkuhin. I'm serious. Oh my. I got into a bit of an altercation with old Jockin earlier. An altercation? You? I am allowed to lose my temper every once in a while, I'd say. Alright, well, what did that old fool do? Accused Miss Elizabeth of witchery right in front of the children, and I... May or may not have called him an ill-bred old fool. Lapkuhen! Either way, Father Han sent me back to cleaning duty in church, and... Apparently I meant to apologize to old Jockin sometime, too. Why, that old donkey, that's ridiculous. Elise? You promised you wouldn't make too much of it, Elise. Yet I ought to. Since you won't let Guhen, what choice do I have? It's my duty, that's all there is to it. Which we both know you loathe, you more so than I, even. I don't loathe at least. I've just realized it may not be what I want for myself. What is it you want, then? I, I don't know yet. <laughs> Liar. Can you tell? You frown when you lie, and your brows twitch. You don't look me in the eye, and you're... Love Kuhan. It's cold, Lab. Stop it. It's time someone taught you a lesson, Elise. What lesson, Lab Kuhan? Keep your promises, Elise. I told you not to make a fuss, so this is what you get. You're soaking me, Lab Kuhan. Repent for your sins, Elise. Trust me, I'm a clergywoman. Why, you... That's enough, Lepkuhin. As for you, Elise, you fiddle with your brooch when you lie. Goodness for goodness sake, how is that relevant? Cute, you? Just reminding you that I can read you, too. Aren't you clever, you little... Mm -hmm. Let's we move along now, I have floors to scrub. I suppose you do. 
I'll wait for you by the bakery tomorrow afternoon. If you'd like to... Later about with you again tomorrow, you say. Let's get going, and I'll see you later tonight. And tomorrow, too. Tomorrow, too, huh? I thought you'd never come about, Elise. Oh, spare me. Here's your bread, Elise. You must keep yourself fed. You too, Lepkuhin. You're looking just as tired as I am. Can you tell? You're not as mysterious as I think you are. Now that's better. Move along, Elise. It's best we head to bed early tonight. The Lord knows I could use some good sleep. How is he to know when you hardly ever pray, Elise? Not as though he makes for a good conversation, so why bother? Good night, Lepkuhin. Good night, Elise. As if praying has ever done anything for me. There she is. In some time. Lepkuhin. I'm all ears, Elise, but make it quick. You're not making this any easier, are you? I wouldn't say it's supposed to be easy, Elise. Lepkuhin, I'm... I'm truly sorry about what happened yesterday. For all the trouble you went through afterward, too. That's right, Elise, I forgive you. Huh? More importantly, won't you lend me a hand? On the swing, I mean. You're not being fair, Lev. Why won't you let me apologize? Why haven't you already? Properly, Lev again. You can't just say you forgive me. I am fairly certain I can, Elise. I haven't even done anything to... You keeping me company every day is more than enough, I'd say. Lev Come now, give me a push, will you? Or truly. Push harder, Elise. I'll make it up to you, Leb. I promise I will. Do you remember what you did to my shoes that time, Elise? Oh, don't start with those stories. Using old Wilhelm's saw to take out the heels. I thought they were hurting you. All you ever did was stand all day. Or that night you broke my bedroom window with a rock. Shush it, you. I was trying to call you outside, Leb. <laughs> you also hit all my veils and habits in the abandoned house once. Huh? I never liked you having to wear that nonsense. Hmm. That's true, you never did. <laughs> I remember that one time you... I remember it all, Lepkuhin. Quit embarrassing me. That's why I'm so upset, Leb. All I ever seem to do is get you in trouble. That's true, you've always been a bit of a nuisance. Took you long enough to... I wouldn't have it any other way. I care about you, Elise. You know that by now. I know that, but... Come now, I've been telling you that I... I care about you just as much, Lepkuhin. What's there to get flustered about, you? Hey, I'll be home tomorrow morning to lend a hand. I'll be there, Leb. <laughs> Alright, but you can't steal all the filling again. Sake. I was six years old, Leb Kuhin. <laughs> Wait right there, you.
I know, Elise. I haven't said anything yet, have I? You don't have to, Elise. What am I to do with you, Lepkuhin? At least tell me you'll get a good night's sleep tonight. If nobody else breaks into a fever, I might. Here's your bread, Elise. What's on your mind, Lepkuhin? Things that would upset you, Elise. I'm not certain you trust me at all. I trust you enough not to ask you about it. I keep coming back to this, Leb, if there's... I mean it, Elise. You don't have to tell me. Whatever it is you can't tell me, I won't pry. You trust me that much, huh? Even if you truly were the witch. Lepkuhin. I mean it, Elise. I trust you'll tell me in time whenever you're ready. What's really... Tired. For someone who's so attentive to others, Lepkuhin, you're not... I'll see you about town tomorrow. For goodness sake, you're so stubborn. Lepkuhin's restless, isn't she? All I can do is make certain I don't involve her in any way. That fell. Well, tight, I'll get you out of there. <sighs> that was tiring. Let's get you out of there and go home. Ah, different again. Let's go ahead. Woodland, this grove, it's aching. Lepkuhin. Your flesh, your blood, your love. All that's rightfully mine, my progeny. What is this? Th this thing's not Lepkuhin. I can give you all that you desire. What? My beloved daughter. What in the Lord's name? What are you? This last, Lepkuhin. Is she the one your heart desires? What are you? They're coming, we will meet again. Vile stench, vile stench. Tainting our grove, tainting our grove. With it. It's you! The lad's staying where he is, lassie. The lad's staying, the lad's staying. Hurry it up. Apfel, come now. Elise? Quickly, Apfel, we have to leave this place. The creatures brought him right into our beaks, lass. We're not about to waste a hearty meal. A hearty meal, a hearty meal. Arg, my eye. <gasps> come, Apfel. We'll curse you, we'll curse you! You're not to find me, leave the lad. We'll devour him, we'll devour him! Please try to keep calm, Miss Linda. Oh, I know, I know. Won't you have a look at my rosary, Lepkuhin? I seem to have pulled on it a little too tightly this morning. That's no good, Ariani, no good at all. Uh, I'll tighten it for you, Miss Ariani, but first I ought to... Lepkuhin. Can I help, Lepkuhin? Elise. Ah, Elise. What are you saying, lassie? A maid of all work can't possibly pray our blessings. We need Lepkuhin. Oh, where's Father Hands when we need him most? Uh. Father Hands has his own matters to attend to. I can... It's best you visit each and every one of our homes, Lokuhin. Ah, that's... My end, too. I'll need a prayer in each and every room before sunset. Ah, but before then, Lokuhin, could you... Out with it. Will you folks back off a little? My, at least can't you see we're... Lepkuhin! Oh, who's gonna pray for our blessings now? We must fetch Father Hands. <laughs> the 
Someone get her some water. Love Kuhin, cool can you hear me? We'll be taking her home, Elise. She'll be fine. Mm. All right, Miss Dorothea. Why don't you pay her a visit in a little while? Of course, I'll be there. Mm. We'll have to go see her. She didn't deserve any of this. There she is. Spend some time. Lepkuhen. Don't you start, Elise. For goodness sake. What were you thinking? You couldn't. Uh. Doesn't matter, Elise. I'll be out and about after lunch anyhow. Ready Gretel's preparing it for me so you can. For goodness sake. I'm not going anywhere, Levkuhin, and neither are you. Not until I've given you a proper earful. I see. My, I'm jumping for joy. <sighs> You're impossible to put up with when you get like this. How would you like me to be feeling? Angry, of course. This is ridiculous. Or being taken for granted like you always are. Tell me something I don't know. That includes you, Lepkuhin. I'm sorry, Leb. I didn't come here to yell at you, but I still don't understand. Why do you break your back for these folks? It's my duty, Elise. You're well aware I don't appreciate being lied to, Lepkuhin. Neither do I, yet that's what you've been doing all week. I'm tired. I don't know how to let go, Elise, that's all. Let go of what? Before I am here in Kieferberg of this duty and purpose. I'm well aware I'm being taken for granted. And I take myself for granted too, trying my own patience. Lepkuhin. What do you mean, trying your own patience? I'm not certain I have any faith left in me, Elise. You, know, I... you mean... I'm a hypocrite, Elise. I'm praying for folks when I no longer... <laughs> you're far from a hypocrite, Lepkuhin. You're kind, you're dedicated, you're a rock for these folks. Please. Whether that's true or not, Elise, I feel trapped. Same way you do, only with other obligations and... I see. And? In other ways as well, I'm torn between my duty and my <sighs> feelings. Lepkuhin. What do you mean? What kind of feelings? <sighs> it doesn't matter, Elise. It's not as though you... Oh, shush it! Go to hell with you, Lepkuhin. <gasps> Out with it! I've had it with this nonsense. Be it your feelings, your lack of faith, or what have you. <sighs> You're done working yourself into the ground, and that's final. You know, it's not that easy, Elise. I always don't overcompensating won't fix it, Lepkuhin. You frightened me, for goodness sake. I'm sorry. No more of that now. You need to get some rest. Alright. Also, about these feelings of yours. There's nothing to fear, Lab. Not when it comes to me, alright? Please. Please. I'll come about tomorrow morning to spend time with you, all right? All right, I'll be waiting. What in the Lord's name are you doing out here, Lepkuhan? Waiting for your earful, it seems. I would have met you inside, for goodness sake. I'm fine, Elise. You're making too much of it. Your bread. You're out of your mind, Leb. Be that as it may, I still want to look after you. Have you considered that you can't do any of that if you're bedridden? I promise you I'll rest plenty tonight, Elise. You'll get another earful tomorrow if you're sick in the morning. Why, you almost make me look forward to it. Speaking of which, Elise, folks have been rather tense lately. I've noticed. I know you can look after yourself, but one good deed won't shield you from all of it, Elise. What do you mean? Folks have been talking ill about each other all day, I... 
Even Mr. Memorial hasn't been spared, you see. There's no need to fret, Lab. I'll make certain I hold my tongue. Make certain you stay home as well. Has she noticed I've been wandering about at night? Elise? Of course, Lab, and you need to stop fretting. We don't want you fainting again. I will, in due time. Lepkohen couldn't possibly know what I've been doing. Still, I ought to make certain it stays that way. There she is. Spend some time. For goodness sake. What are you doing out here in the rain, Lepkohen? My, you sure like nagging me, don't you, Elise? For goodness sake. I have good reason to fright you. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't you worry about me. <laughs> what if you collapse again, or... Come now, I have something to tell you, Elise. Wait, Wait let's go ahead. You can tell me all about it in your room, whatever it is. Oh, Why, aren't you cheeky, Elise? Th that's not what I... <laughs> I just thought we could come here for old times' sake is all. Aww. For goodness sake. Hasn't changed at all, has it? I think we'd spend entire afternoons cooped up in there. Don't you remember planning to spend the night that time? Now that you mention it. Ah, now that you mention it. You were going to bring the day's leftovers for supper, right? I was in charge of the blankets and we even swept the floors. My granny's faces when they found out, too, still gives me shivers. You know, I... Anyhow, what was it you wanted to tell me? Leb? <laughs> ah! Oh. Elise, I am the ghost of this house, Elise. Leb Kuhin! Give me your soul, Elise, or I'll haunt you forever. Th that's not funny, you. <laughs> Why, but I'm the silliest ghost around. Sake. Enough of that, Lepkuhin. <laughs> you nearly sent me to my grave. Rather cute, aren't you? You're still just as easy to frighten, Elise. Mm. Why, thank you for reminding me. I do come here often, in truth. Everything used to be easier back then, didn't it? Anyhow, Lem, maybe it's best you go inside and rest, wouldn't you say? I see. You'd say so? Now that you mention it. This weather can't be good for you, is all. You see. Hmm. Perhaps that would be better, yes. I'm not so certain. Everything's quite the same, Lem. We just got older. Kieferberg hasn't changed, that's true. Isn't it time you tell me what's on your mind? <sighs> See, Elise. <laughs> Collapsing yesterday has made me come to terms with it. With what? <sighs> I've been hiding all this time, you see. Hiding behind Kieferberg, behind this veil, behind you even. Up, Kuhin. <sighs> I've used my duty to stay as I am for the sake of the townspeople and... I've used you as an excuse to stay here in Kieferberg. Are you afraid I'll leave you behind? I am, partly, but I expect to overcome this fear tomorrow. Tomorrow? With or without you, Elise, it's time I make my own decisions. Why wait until tomorrow, Leb? Why not tell me now? <laughs> Something tells me tomorrow will be different, that's all. You're truly... Come, let's move along. I've kept you for long enough. I have something to tell you tomorrow, too. Oh, is that so? It truly is so, you... Ah! Somebody help me, the ghost is back. Why, you... Wait right there. Rather in. I've gathered you here today to address the recent goings on. 
rather late, Father. We've had enough. Show some respect, Elma. No, she's right. We need answers, Father. I'm afraid we will not be getting any today, Gaido. This is yet another plea for us to overlook this situation. Why don't we let Father Hands take the lead? He said it all week, and look where it's got us, Gustav. We're together here this evening for a vigil, brethren. Together we are to appeal to the Lord's mercy and benevolence, as well as... All that'll do is put a lot on folks' troubles, Father. That's right, we need the switch to pay. Hmm. Who would you suggest ought to pay, Lorely? Where's the switch you folks speak of? Gustav's right, we don't know where to turn. Where huh. will show us the path we ought to follow, brethren. Why, I've prayed all day every day and nothing's changed, Father. I fear for my poor Jacob, Father. Whoever is out there, they're taking our children, compromising our livelihoods. The decision folks want, Hands. We have to search every last in town for the witch's mark. You have to do no such thing, you old geezer. That's no way to address your elders, Elise. Is that so? Perhaps if my elders hadn't completely lost their wits. Hmm. Rest assured, Elise, no lasting Kieferberg will be searched, young or old. You fools still resist what must be done. Old Jockin is right, we must see this through. Are you going to do it then, Mr. Ludwig? If there's anyone who ought to do it, it's Lipkuhin. I wonder... Me, Miss Brunhild? Of course, lass, you're a woman of God. Woman of God or not, Lepkuhin is to be searched as well. Out with it! None of you are touching her. So, Elise, we have to search someone. Maybe for the best, Elise. <laughs> are you searching Freya too, then? And Miss Lisbeth? No exceptions, lass. Truth is, we don't know anything about your cousin, Elise. Why don't we start with her? That's right, this all started the day she got here. N no, I, I haven't done anything. Nobody's laying a finger on her. I saw her. I saw the witch. I saw Lepko hidden in the woods. My beloved daughter. Elise saw her too. She talked to the witch. There it is, folks. They're the witches. Oh, what fell? That was true, Elise. You and Lepkohin are the ones who have been making our lives hell. No! Oh. What are you insinuating? Confess the lot of you. Confess to your sins, you wretched witches. <laughs> did you or did you not meet Lepkohin in the woods, Elise? Of course I didn't. I was all by myself right until I found him. Why, the lad says he saw you two, Elise. Wait! I didn't meet anyone in the woods, I swear. Oh my goodness, look! It's the witch! The witch is here! Oh, we're all going to die! That's enough. You must keep calm, folks. Keep calm. She was there. I saw her. She had yellow eyes. What do you have to say for yourself, lass? That was right here that evening. That's true, you were controlling me right until they made it back, but... I saw you, Lepkuhin. No, oh, Apfel, I don't think you did. Maybe this one? She wouldn't know anything. Can't be serious, that fell. Oh, I wouldn't want to believe such a thing. Lisa's has always been a bad influence on the poor lass, after all. Of all folks to betray Kieferberg, Lepkuhin? I didn't. That fell's all of his mind. Lepkuhin isn't involved in any of it. If the lad says otherwise. You two met in the woods, Elise. You're both involved. Don't be ridiculous. I was in Kieferberg all day. Are you seriously accusing Lepkuhin? I mean, you had enough of this foolery, you... Far from it, Elise, everything's suddenly becoming clear. That's ridiculous. Listen to yourselves. That's enough. I've heard enough. I won't stand for... Search them both. You must search them right now. Find the witch's mark. <sighs> 
I will take no more of this nonsense. That's enough. This is enough. Can't you see what you are doing to Kieferberg? Can't you see this witch nonsense is turning us against each other? Which is clearly right here in Kieferberg, lass. What can we do? Nobody in Kieferberg could ever do such a thing, old Jockin. We are family, all of Kieferberg, no exceptions. Mm. Although we all understand your feelings, Freya. You clearly don't, Father, nobody does. That fellow believes he's seen the witch. Folks have been on edge all day. All of this is a consequence of how we've been facing this crisis. With fear, hostility, and hesitation. That's all very nice, Freya, but we need to do something. I know. Let's do the vigil, then. Work on the preparations for the festival together. Like the family we are, the family we've always been. Freya! <sighs> Did you folks truly burn me at the stake? Or release Lefkuhin, even Rosamarine? I expected m more from my family, that's all I wanted to say. Mm. You've said more than enough, Freya. All of Kieferberg is to meet here tonight for prayer. As we ought to have done from the start. Hmm. Move along now, folks. We're to focus on what we ought to do. Protect our home at all costs. You're going to fall ill again at this rate, Lab. I can look after myself, Elise. It's best you get some rest before this vigil, don't you think? Don't you think it's rather odd, Elise? What is Lifkuhin? I have a strange feeling about tonight's vigil. It all feels a little... as though there's a false sense of calm. Folks did change their tunes rather quickly, that's true. Here, before I forget. Do you think they might all lose their minds again tonight? Not necessarily, but... I must admit, I'm feeling nervous about the festival, too. You spent too much time comforting folks today, Leb. Rather calm, too, Elise. I've been tormented over this witch nonsense all week. Suppose I can't blame you there. Best I move along now. Still need to have supper. I'll see you in church. Only if you promise to get some proper rest before the vigil. I'm rather calm, huh? Even I'm starting to wonder why. Is that? That sounds like Lepkuhin. It's that serpent. We must find a way to that church. Go ahead. Wait. Wait. Let's go ahead. What in the? You're rather brave, lass. You! Do you yearn for wealth and fortune that deeply? I clearly do, Serpent. Now let her go. No, I don't think I will. What, what in the Lord's name? Nupkuhin. You know, there's something you have yet to come to terms with. Something you've been avoiding. What are you talking about? Good company, lass. You've sacrificed your mortal body for the tender flesh. You know it's your blood needed for the sweetest nectar. Yet it's the good company you refuse to surrender. What, what are you talking about? Show me the depths of your heart. <gasps> what? I wish to see how dearly you care for your blubbin. Question. What is 
You want to know how deeply I care for Lepkuhin? She's my best friend, my bosom friend. Ash Protector. Lepkuhin has it as hard as I do in this place. If I could take her away... You don't know your own bosom friend, lass. You're not worth my time. Oh, wow, okay. I don't rely on her too much. I'm so selfish when it comes to her, but... She's the only one I care about in this whole rat hole of a town. Lepical Hin's the only family I have left in this wretched village. Now for Lepical Hin, I wouldn't... I'd be worse off. She's been the only one looking out for me since Granny Hole passed. Rather keen of you to use your bosom friend as a crutch, aren't you? You're not worth my time, let alone his. I would have left already. And I never did because I don't want to lose her. I know her better than anyone, better than Grady Gretel, even. I know how she loathes her veil, how she hides from everyone. Lepical Hen is much more than that, and I want... I want to save her. Take her away from Kieferberg to give her a better future. My, 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 how righteous of you, lassie. You're not worth my time, let alone his. Okay, so that's the bad one. I want her to give up. I want her to know it's all right to give up and live for her own sake. This is a testament. Bottle. Your sweetest nectar, lass. Very soft, you wretch. Oh, you're truly so bewitching, lass. I think you're willing to betray such pure feelings. I need to get out of here. Oh, it makes me want to keep you all to myself. I'm happy to see you looking so cheery today, Lise. 
Well, even I get to make merry once in a while, don't I? It's as though everyone's forgotten about last week, isn't it? Looks were bursting at the seams, lab. They couldn't bear another day fretting about all this nonsense, could they? Neither could we if memory serves. After what happened yesterday... Is everything alright with you, Elise? Huh? There's no need to pretend, Elise. I know you. You've been hiding something from me, I know it. I won't ask you what that is, but... I trust you, Elise? I would never do anything to betray your trust, Lab. <laughs> what are you laughing about, you... I can't help it when you look so serious. Well, I am serious about you, Lab. Speaking of which, won't you come with me to the bell tower? The bell tower? There's something I'd like to tell you, and I... <laughs> Lab Kuhan? Cute, you? Something I'd like to tell you, too, Elise. <laughs> You're truly... Let's get going. You lead the way. What is it you have to tell me, Lab? I'll tell you once we're there, Elise. <laughs> Kieferberg's unrecognizable today, isn't it? Looks quite the same to me, I ought to say. It wasn't a joke, Lepkuhin. I'm well aware it wasn't, at least. That's what I find so amusing. Amusing, you say? You're leaving soon, aren't you, Elise? Huh? Something along those lines, I'm certain. I don't know yet, Lepkuhin. I'm still... <laughs> yes, you do, Elise. I can tell. You're going to that castle, aren't you? Don't be silly, Lepkuhin. At some level, Elise, it's what you've always wanted. Kieferberg can't possibly give you any of that. What would you say? I won't let Guhin. More. More, huh? You've always wanted better to go further, to live more. Even when we were young, you were never truly satisfied, were you? Let Guhin, I... Neither was I, Elise. Huh? I told you, I never quite grew into this habit or this veil. In fact, I'm not even certain who I am without them. You're not, but I am, Lem. No, I... We both know who you are without it, don't we? Please. Please. Mm. It's true, you tend to hide. You've always been that way, but... Mm -hmm. Why, how clever. Lepkuhen. We're doing it again, Lepkuhen. <laughs> you seriously thought I'd never notice? Oh, really? Not necessarily, but... Oh. You despise Father Hands, not to mention Miss Oddly. Oh. That's not... You loathe that dust rag of a veil and that grisly habit, too. That's why you had Miss Marielle cover it in frills and decorations. <laughs> it's the color I'm not so fond of, but... You don't have a single Bible or rosary in your bedroom, let alone a cross. You and I have a silly altar and you're in the nun. Please. At least, that's... Quit denying it, Lepkuhin. Come now, show me your hand. We know each other better than anyone else, don't we? I don't want to be a burden to you, Elise. That's enough hiding, wouldn't you say? I'm not... Wait, holding yourself back, Lepkuhin. There's nothing left to hide. Not for me. There is still something, Elise. Tell me, then. I've been waiting, Leb. I need you to promise me something first. As long as it's not an excuse for you to... Promise me you'll be alright. With or without me, it doesn't matter. I promise, Leb. I can't expect you to watch over me forever, can I? Yet that's exactly what you'll do if I let you, isn't it? I love you, I love you Elise. Up, Kuhin. <laughs> of course I will, for as long as you'll have me. You're truly... Mm -hmm. Ready to leave this rat hole of a town behind? Up, Kuhin. Why, well, you've called it worse yourself, Elise. You know, I... Come now, there's somewhere I'd like to show you, Leb. <laughs> that's with you, Elise. For You're so embarrassing, for goodness sake. Token of love. Everlasting love.
This is it. There's no going back. Got everything. It's only a matter. Is everything alright, Elise? <laughs> ah, yes. Let's move along now. I should make certain I have everything in my basket. Just to hurry and get everything ready. Are you glad it's over, Elise? You mean this past week? Feel so much lighter, don't you? You'd be looking much lighter if you took your habit too, Leb. Don't you start, Elise? The procession ended long ago, that's all. You're so insistent about my habit, why is that? Because you look so much better without it. You wouldn't even know what to wear if you had the choice, I'd wager. Well, yes, I would. No, you wouldn't, Leb. Of course I would, Elise. I have plenty of dresses at home. From when you were a toddler, maybe. Elise! You know I'm right, Liquihin. Let's not argue. How do you think I should dress, then? Not like a nun, that's for certain. Well, that's not helpful. I want you to be able to decide for yourself, Leb. Oh, shush. When do we leave, then? Huh? Keeperberg, Elise. We're leaving, aren't we? I suppose, but... Now that we're leaving together... Granny Gretel still needs your help, doesn't she? Not necessarily. She's rather energetic for her age. Look, Uhen. I thought you wanted me to stop holding back. I do, but I thought you... I've made my decision, Elise. My future is with you. For goodness sake. Why, you're as red as your shoes. Oh, shush. Maybe it's best I hold back a little after all. Look, Uhen. You'll be the end of me if you keep... We can hold hands on the way there, if you want. For goodness sake. You're truly so easy to tease, Elise. I know, I know. I have to focus on finding him. If he truly does grant my wish, maybe I can give Lipkutin a better life, too. Close to me, all right. Thus, we don't wander about. We could get lost. Oh, Since when have you known about this place, Elise? Since uh, Monday, I suppose. Oh, so beautiful! I've never seen so many butterflies in one place. I don't know if I'd call it beautiful, but <laughs> oh, but it is, Elise. Look at how blue the sky looks from here. <sighs> oh, Elise, this is better than watching the stars at night. Come, let's go ahead and stay close to me. I wouldn't want you to get lost. Elise? Is everything alright, Lipkuhin? This is such a beautiful place. I wonder how nobody stumbled upon it until now. Now that's a great question. Look at all these butterflies, they're everywhere. They could fall asleep right here in this tall grass. Tall grass? Doesn't anything seem strange to you, Lipkuhin? How so? It's rather cold, wouldn't you say? Oh, but doesn't this breeze smell so fragrant? I don't know what's going on, but I ought to be careful. Did you hear that, Elise? Hear what? By the birds, they're chirping. You think there's a creek around here? I wouldn't know. I wonder if they're doves. I don't know what's gotten in here, but she's seeing things I'm not. I ought to hurry and leave these testaments where they belong. Tender flesh of earthly desire. I suppose this will be enough.
Oh, I've never seen so many together. Huh? There are all these fireflies, Elise? Fireflies? <laughs> this truly is a wonderful place. Oh, okay, so I think the golden girls are not tied to actually finding them in the story. Because I don't see any extras around here. Sweetest nectar to be drunken in earnest. This time I didn't go after any of the golden girls. The maidens. fountain. The water's so clear, I wonder if we could drink from there. <laughs> ah, it's best we don't. Oh, well, I'm sure it'd be alright. A fountain? Is she seeing something I'm not? Good company, the object of one's affections. The offering. Well, this will be enough. I didn't know you had it in you. What? Elise. Bringing me to such a wonderful place, Elise. Come now, there's an even better place up ahead. Alright. Let's do the not going through with the dream. Not going in the tree. The gates that old hag told me about. This is it. I did it, they're open. But if I go through with this, I... I might lose her. If what's on the other side of these gates is anything like the woods, I... can't go through with this. Elise. What's the matter, Elise? Now that you mentioned You've seen enough of this place, haven't we? I thought you had something to show me. Uh... It doesn't matter anymore, Lev. Let's go home before it gets any darker out. I see. You've been hiding something from me, Elise. I was, but not anymore. What do you mean? I love you, Lepkuhin. Elise. Elise. Come now, let's have supper together. You'll never tell me, will you? What you've been hiding all week. Now that you mention it. In time, Lepkuhin. For now, all I want is to spend this evening with you. Oh, really? Watching the stars? <laughs> we can uh, hold hands, too. Oh, My, how daring. Shush you. Oh, shush, come now. Ah, blue book. <laughs> Left Kieferberg the week after the festival. Left Kuhin's excitement to finally leave was palatable, and so was mine. Oh, well, please be careful out there, my love. <laughs> hey, well, Granny, don't you worry about me. I'll miss you two so much. <laughs> we will miss you too, Fred, but we'll come visit. Oh, please write us off in you here. We will, Granny. Goodbye. Didn't know what to do with ourselves. All we wanted to do was travel. Always on the road, looking for the next best town to visit. 
We did odd jobs here and there, stopping at every inn and living with whatever we earned each day. I could tell Lovkohin felt more liberated than ever. Well, I felt I was living a dream, finally having left that person I was in Kieferberg behind. Till the day we both realized there was something missing. We had each other, we were young and free, but... Please. Are you sure this is what you want, Elise? Let's at least stop by and see how everyone's doing, alright? I suppose it's been a while, that's true. Kieferberg truly is where we both feel most at home, isn't it? Everywhere feels like home when you're with me, Leb. <laughs> There's something missing, isn't there? I suppose that's what we're going to find out. However, nothing could have prepared us for what would happen. Sake. Come now, folks, excuse me, let me through. You need to talk to Lepkuhin. Hi, right, Elise, can we have a word about the windmill renovations? Not now, Mr. Heinrich. I'm looking for Lepkuhin. There you are, Lepkuhin. Are you looking for me, Elise? Huh? Everyone's pestering me over these renovations. Really? Folks are moving in next month, Elise. It's only natural. Hounding me won't make them come any faster, though. <laughs> More importantly, Elise, won't you come up to the bell tower with me? Huh? What for? Why for lunch, silly. Roast sandwiches, remember? Oh, no, it's noon already. I promised Mr. Gustav I'd help him and the lads with... <laughs> come now, Elise. You're too wound up. Let's go upstairs. Uncle Hen's now Kieferberg's elder. She's our teacher, nurse, baker. She can do anything she sets her mind to, it seems. She still spends most of her time in church, if it can even be called that. You've made it a point to renovate it, away with St. Walpurga and all those old crosses. Hey, Elise, I was chatting with Miss Wilma just now. Oh, I told her not to pester you with her nonsense. She's been wanting to ask you about her in, you see. She's afraid she won't have enough room for everybody and... We'll just have to build her a bigger inn then. Problem solved. Oh, really? Generous, aren't you? Shush it, you? Oh, shush. We can afford it. As for me, I suppose I'm in the mirror now. Mr. Gustav said it was time for a change after Father Hans died and appointed the role to me himself, but... Never imagined I'd enjoy it so much. Sake. What's the point of having folks over if they're not making us any money? <laughs> You're enjoying this, aren't you? Things are finally starting to change around here, Leb. Can you believe folks are moving from Pumeldorf to Kieferberg now? Cute, you? you look the prettiest when you're passionate about something, did you know that? Akuhan! <laughs> My, you're red as a beat. Bells of Dawn, ending 7. Okay, time to go into the tree. The gates that old hag told me about. This is it. I did it, they're open. But if I go through with this, I... I wish. Uh. Come all this way, I have to find him. I have to do this. I have him granted to me if it kills me. Uh. Huh? Let's go ahead. She was taken? I've come this far, I ought to go meet him. Lock? Wait. Lock, wait! What is this place? I feel like I've been here before. What in the Lord's name? 
What in the Lord's name? Yeah, let's stay here. I need to find a way out. Food over on the left. Middle. Hey. What in the Lord's name is going on here? Lock. What are you doing here? <laughs> Meet again, Elise. Who? What are you? Sure, yeah. I thought you'd be happy to see me. What is this? I I don't. <laughs> Let's have a word, Elise. You've come here for a reason, haven't you? For my wish. Why don't we discuss this over the feast you've brought me? Better, isn't it? You're know. him, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Ozzy, Elise. Ozzy? <laughs> At your service. This rush of mine, can you truly... For price, yes. I've already brought you your gifts, what else could you... <laughs> Speaking of which... Wait. Wait, I brought you what you asked of me. You silly girls keep misunderstanding. These are mere gifts, Elise, a little courtesy. You're yet to pay for what you truly desire. What? Mm. That witch made you think otherwise, didn't she? You know, I... I... How did you know that? <laughs> I know everything about you, Elise. I knew you liked those shoes, too. <gasps> but you were the one who... <laughs> rather tasteless, isn't she? Trying to use me to lure you into her belly. 
What, the witch? <laughs> You're well aware of who I'm talking about, aren't you? That old hag? She was speaking the truth, at least. These gifts brought you to me. Although you didn't quite need them, did you? What do you mean? <laughs> we have a unique bond, Elise. Me, you, that witch, and your grandmother. Oh, was it? What are you... Calm down, won't you? Your grandmother is no stranger to me, lassie. Begged me for a child, and here you are, back to your roots. Me and Granny Hull also... Conceiving you in that witch's woodland was a mistake, that's what. And her belief she had a part in it, that you're her kin, even. What are you talking about? <laughs> I invite your dear mother, Elise. My mother? The only mother I've ever had was Granny. <laughs> Let's put that past us. You're here for a reason. You did good in bringing me your tender flesh and sweetest nectar. <laughs> you even brought me some good company for supper. For supper? To live us dying, Elise. Tell me more about what it is you desire, why don't you? That's what I want is... <laughs> I can't hear you, lassie. Speak up. I want to be rich. That's all I've ever wanted. <laughs> Silence! My apologies, Elise. They're not so easy to tame, you see. What are they, anyhow? My golden maidens, you ask? Nothing but mere servants, Elise. But let us focus now. <laughs> you want to be rich, you say. That's what your heart most desires, is it? I want an easy, luxurious life. No more of this made of all work nonsense. I want to live in a castle, to live comfortably forever. To live out my dream together with... What are you all laughing at? I have a price, Elise. Whatever you'd like. Firstborn child. A secondborn child. Oh, how am I to know you'll have two children, Elise? How are you to know I'll have any at all? Why don't you trust me? I've shown you my loyalty, haven't I? I've brought you your gifts, every last one. That's the least you could do. <laughs> You're certain this is what you want, Elise? All right. Luxurious life starting right this instant. <laughs> well then, let us indulge in the first course now, why don't we? Oh, that's different. Elise! Elise! Lepko hen! <laughs> Let us make a toast, Elise. This is ridiculous. What did you do to her? Out with it. Me? Let her go. <laughs> My, I don't think you'd want that, Lassie. Our contract is sealed, after all. <sighs> huh? Come now, you know what we're doing here, Elise. I told you to let her go, you. <laughs> Let's get this out of the way, why don't we? Please! Please! <laughs> These gifts, Elise, the testaments to your loyalty. The tender flesh, your own mortal body. The sweetest nectar, your very own blood. The good company, and now that's... The one you hold dearest to your heart, Elise. In the Lord's name? No, that can't be. Help me! Elise! Elise, save me! <laughs> No, no, you can't do this. No, Elise! Wait. Stop, this isn't what I meant to do. Nobody told me about this. You're so noisy, can't we get this over with? So noisy, so noisy. That's what I said, you lousy crow. <laughs> Let us feast, Vry, Aziel. Why could you, Elise? Please. I trusted you, I trusted you, Elise. Please. Please. Help me, Elise. Let's go ahead. Okay, let's do first, not interfering, and then interfere. <laughs> no, this isn't what I... Help me, Elise! Help me, Elise! Let's go ahead and calling for me. This isn't what I meant to do, not at all. I could you, Elise? You betrayed me, you betrayed me, Elise! Love Gohen, she's the good company. I need to, I can still save her if I... 
I can still stop this. Topical hints, she's going to die. I will never forgive you, at least never. What hint? She's glaring at me. There's so much blood. I... There's nothing I... I loved you, Elise. How, how I loved you, Elise. What a good hint. She's... Oh, I'm full. <laughs> I must thank you, Elise. Not only for the feast, but for this beautiful new addition to my entourage. I'm Kuhin. <laughs> we'll meet again, Elise. I will be there on the day your second child is born. Ah, okay, so the background of the set changes for each one. Until we meet again, Elise. At least Lytle, I reckon. I'm here on behalf of Count Roman Dihirlidge. The Count would very much like to see you, Miss Elise. Would you please allow me to escort you to the castle? Precisely what he promised me. Nothing more, nothing less. Fortune, wealth, a second chance at happiness. Yet. No matter how big the ballroom, how glorious the dresses, I found myself feeling out of place. None of it came close to what I sacrificed. It all felt vapid, worthless, far from what I truly wanted. Harrowing regret haunted me day and night. Unearthly visions of her, of the look on her face the night I lost her forever. He too visited me in the dead of night, reminding me of my own foolishness, my futility. All I had left was my progeny, my beloved son Henry. I want an only child, I will never put you in harm's way. Never will that demon get my second born child. There is only you, Henry. You're my only hope, my only chance at happiness. Yet fate wouldn't have it that way. I had twins, a boy Henry and a daughter. My beloved daughter. He's going to take her from me. And he did take her, as per his end of the bargain. I still had Henry, yet I'd lost not only the one I loved most, but also the fight against him, and now my daughter as well. I left to take refuge in a monastery. For a chance at redemption, in an attempt to reach Lepkuhin through prayer. Oh. I can't ask for your forgiveness, nor am I worthy. All I ask of thou is to allow me to spend the last of my days in peace. To prepare myself for eternal damnation. Oh Lord, if I'm to burden in hell, may I at least meet her once more before I... 
No. Please. Love Kuhin. Love Kuhin. You've done enough, Elise. I forgive you. <laughs> oh, Lebkuhin. Come, Elise, let us go. Your time has come. I'm sorry, Lebkuhin. Oh, my beloved Lebkuhin. Just Kiss, ending number three. No, this isn't what I... Help me, Elise! Lepkohan's calling for me. This isn't what I meant to do, not at all. Ah! I had an agreement, Elise. It's a pity, isn't it? That you'd lack the resolve to see this through. Come now, join us, why don't you? Lee's! 